I say now for more than I think seven to eight weeks, like what are the improvements that you've seen now going to France? And do you feel that you're now ready now to qualify now for the World Cup next year? Biggest improvement has been conditioning. If you look at the players on Saturday, uh, maybe you may not recognize some of them <laughs> how much they've changed physically. <laughs> Uh, but we've been in a high performance environment. Western province uh, were very kind to allow us use of their facility, to allow us access to their consultants, and also to play matches against their Curry Cup team, so training matches. So physical conditioning is one thing that has been a uh, massive improvement for all the players. The mindset as well, because uh, the mental strength to train in a professional environment. So that has also been an area of progress. Um, and then our skill sets, because we've been under pressure on a weekly basis against very good teams. Uh, the players' defensive uh, abilities, their attacking abilities have also been put under pressure. So we've also improved. Are we in a good position to make the World Cup? I think so. Um, I mean, every team is going uh, to France uh, this year to make the World Cup. But I think uh, these two months of preparation and then these last two games have uh, put us in a good position to be able to get that uh, qualifying ticket to France. You still have a month to go before the first game, I think, will be the first of July. Like, how are, you going, how are you going to use the four weeks now, which you now and uh, the first game of the qualifiers? So this week and next week, we're training exactly how we've been training in South Africa. Um, and then we give the boys uh, a week's break, I think, to spend time with family and also just to recharge their batteries from the 12th of June. Then we're back on the 19th of June and straight into camp, and uh, we don't leave camp until we travel to France. So we're replicating everything that we've been doing in South Africa, except for the last week when we give them a break. Yes, Coach, hi. You also don't look too bad yourself. I don't look too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank but you. I, yeah, I wanted to ask now, this is going to be the first Simba's match in Hotel, I think, in the last three years. Yeah. And it's like an audition because you're not going to see Simba as they're going away to France. What should fans expect on this game on Saturday? Well, the good thing about this game is if you look at our opponents, the Leopards, uh, they are a team who play with high tempo and play very quickly. So fans should expect a very entertaining match. Um, the weather looks fine, um, nice high altitude, which is good for us in the heat. It will help us maybe get an advantage over the Leopards. Uh, but it should be a, a very entertaining match this, this Saturday. Would, would you say after these two matches, after Leopards and the last match next weekend, the team would be ready for the task that lies ahead in France yeah. in June? Yeah, we will be ready. Uh, that, that I can say for sure. Uh, for the big task that lies ahead in July. All right. Yes. Next question goes to the captain, the Leopards. Hi and welcome to Kenya. Uh, it's probably your first day here. Just wanted to ask. What do you expect to get from Kenyan rugby today when you come in? What's the challenge that lies ahead? What have you heard about Kenyan rugby in general? First of all, um, we know it's very physical. Um, we expect it to be very physical on Saturday. We saw the, the Kenyan guys train just before us when uh, we went to Cape Town. And we, see the, we, we saw the conditioning of the guys. And so we, we as, a, as a Leopards and a South African team always pride ourselves on physicality of the game. Um, so yeah, we know we know Kenya is going to come out firing and they're going to be very physical. Uh, at the end of the day, it's going to be the team who gets it right and it gets he's the most physical, physical at the day. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a it's going to be a great game and uh, we're looking very we're looking forward to the game. And yeah, it's a, it's a massive honour for us to be here. And, yeah, it's it's going to be. Also, learning curve for us to learn about Kenyan rugby. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a massive honor for us to be here.